So, Jinx. Jinx is the Pokemon that we are gonna play with today. And what can I say about Jinx? It's one of those Pokemons of Gen 1 that are locked behind a trade. So it was very hard to get. And when you get it, it has a unique type combination that is Ice and Psychic that remained unique for 25 years until Game decided to give Mr. Mime an Ice type and an evolution. So let us see if it is worth it. So how good was Jinx in Fire Red actually? So we begin our run by starting our game and naming ourselves Osha, obviously being the girl character cause we are a girl in the game. Then we name our rival Sensor cause Jinx has been censored a lot throughout the years. We pick a free potion and gain the game to set mode and you know turn on the battle animations and move from there. And yeah, the troll drivers have to be here uh, only for this moment only. So then I replace one of the mons to get Jinx. So I named Jinx Lady cause look at how she pretty is. Yeah, look at how she, how pretty she is. And obviously my rival picks up the Charmander. The only possible rival that is actually, you know, super effective against my type of Ice and Psychic. Yeah, that is gonna change in a few minutes I say, but for this moment it is the only one who can hit me super effectively. But not yet as well cause doesn't have any Ember in this fight and yeah, even though Jinx attack is horribly low Yeah, even though Jinx attack is horribly low It still serves be enough to, you know, win against a similar level A stage 1 Pokemon cause yeah, 50 is like okay Like I am so much confident on Jinx cause it starts with, you know, a very good Special attack thing type of ice with a 115 space special attack That I just go on and straight up try the option level fight as well That I fight it as well Alright as well, so that's really nice. And yeah, the only thing that doesn't make me stupid in this fight is the sheer fact that I have a sleeping move. And yeah, usually I start these runs with the pre-evolution and not the final form. Like even in the executor run, even though execute is a much worse Pokemon, I started with execute. Why? Cause it would have better learning up movesets. But in case of Smoochum, I miss out on lovely kiss and instead I get sweet kiss for it. And Sweet Kiss has a uh, confusion as a confusing move while Lovely Kiss has a sleeping move and obviously I prefer sleep much more than confusion. Plus yeah, by being a Jinx I don't get any good sake moves by learning up or rather any sake moves by learning up I have to teach it by TM. But the better thing here is that I get a way better Pokemon to use to level 30. So as you can see that I can easily one shot two shot everything I am even faster than Brock's Onyx which has a very good speed for this point of game that is base 70 two shot and done yeah the rock 2 miss could be lucky but I guess I can survive one cause Onyx has pathetic special at physical attack even worse than Caterpies I guess so I am sorted over here so let's get out of Brock's gym and now while we move through his front I picked up the Helix Fossil if I don't do but Fossil you can check out the comment section. Now that think of it, please ask me anyways in the comment box because comments are they good for the algorithm. And now, before this fight, you must be wondering why have I trained my Jinx so much if I had to, you know, easily defeat Brock. The answer for this is this fucker to Giotto. Cause only at level 20, I can outspeed him. I have the calcs for the same, but as you save the calcs for the elite 4 fights cause they're much more relevant back then, but still. At level 19, I cannot outspeed it and it gives me heavy damage or worse than attack. But Charmander can easily kill me. But when I outspeed it, I easily one shot it. I can easily sleep the Charmander for free and then proceed to you know slowly whittle it down. And with this, this is a simple calculation. The rival fight changes from being a possibility to a very simple event. And that's why boys and girls use your maths for good ways. Like Who's ever asked you that why do I, where do I even use maths in my real life? Use it in Pokemon, use it in playing. So there's that. And yeah, I use the smog on Diamagator for these purposes, which is apparently not clear to some of you guys, even after I clearly typed the website before you in the videos. Then I get a kit for Mrs. Anne and I use Abra. Like Abra is one of my shortcuts to, you know, easily travel and save time in these runs. And I feel pretty confident with this run as you can see Yeah, the early game is a bit of a slog as compared to other runs But the mid game, let me tell you, it will change your mind So here we have a miss of Mega Punch Harden Yeah, even after one Harden, I am taking half its health 
so that's why i had to level up here that's the idea i cleared the or the road first the negative bridge first because this star me even though it doesn't attack me with water moves still swift is such a good move and i have such pathetic physical defenses that it could easily two shot me with swift earlier that's why i had to level up so much in this part of the game but i guess it's the only early game that was not early game exactly only second gym i need leveling up after that i am gone have a super easy time why cause i cause as i told you that till the early part only charmander was the only starter that was hitting super effectively but now i have coverage for it in the form of water pulse so even that is not a issue and i get my pickup gang of shereon sabra kamenta and volley to like share comment subscribe and follow me on various platforms my twitter instagram are in the description please go to this channel cause i really need the support I really wish to get 100 subs as soon as possible like 100 is a far fetched dream. Just 69 subs would be a really good thing for me. So with this all said and done, let's move to a second rival and say, let's see if I can defeat him or not. And I have Ice Punch here, which has tab and 75 base power move and water pulse for the charge million, so I don't think that they can cause me any issues at this point. Reticate Ice Punch is a one shot obviously cause I'm over leveled than it. Yeah. So As I have, you know, grown this channel and I have played along various runs. Earlier, what you know, what I used to do is to speed run it to avoid as many fights as possible in the early game to save time. But now I've realized the place to leave fights is not the early game, but rather the mid game, because you need early levels for establishing a lead in the run. Because yeah, that's really important. Because as you can see, if I hadn't trained. my jinx at that point of for the pigeotto fight i would have spent ages just to you know try for luck or worse leveling up instead of on the easily available geo dudes on the horrible experience giving at atas or ekenses so the ekenses ekenai ekens ekano ek ekensen or even the plural of ekens i don't even know i'm not even bothered by it so now here we are in the uh, the Well, which tower is it? Yeah, Lavender Tower fight, and even the just blink of an eye, the Pidgeotto is dead with Ice Beam. Gyarados is neutral for Ice, and obviously takes very good damage from him. Thrash Gift beats me in return. Charmeleon is still a non-issue, a one-shot obviously, that two without a crit. So there's that, and execute obviously Ice Ice Beam and done. Yeah, if I had chosen Venus Or, then I would have obviously. That was a super effective fight. That's not a very big pro problem for me. But if I had chosen Blastoise, let us say, that could be a problem until I get my second TM. Cause because you know till that point I would have to rely on the horrible Mega Punch or the Samai rely or you know the reliable but slightly less powered Secret Power to defeat it with my special with a physical attack of 50 and that would not have been a good prospect. So in a way, even choosing type disadvantages in the selection i still get advantage even though indirect and that's really amazing but by the way tbh since i have to just go over this giovanni fight since the rival has such a balanced team that will always carry a water grass and a fire type so no matter what starter you choose at the mid game you will surely be facing your opponent which has a type advantage over you So it's really basically just for the early game that you have to even think about what kind of starter your rival has. So basically, as we all know, we are ice type. This is the grass gym, and we are ten levels above them. I don't think that they even deserve two shots. So that's not an issue. Like as I told you, because of the early game grind for the specific Pidgeotto and the specific Star Me, I now have the moves and moreover the stats to easily. race through the mid game and bring my time to a considerably lower time than usual cause you can see at four gyms i am already done with such a half part of the game in four hours so at this point i can see a finish of 7 to 8 hours which is really amazing cause i have only one pokemon at this point who has finished the game in below 8 hours so maybe jinx can give a cut a competition let us see So the Gyarados is a three shot with Ice Punch. I I could have gotten Ice Beam. I certainly have the money for the same. Yeah, it doesn't line Ice Beam by level up, so there's that. 
But the thing here is just wanted to see how long can ice punch carry me, and then I will just get my ice beam. And yeah, the Charizard sucked. But that's where the second part of my move set comes. Lovely kiss. Because of lovely kiss, I'm really really glad that I didn't choose to start this run with Smoochum. Yeah, even though I could have got a confusion, which has been really good for the poison types that you face in the early game, especially in the self tower or the rocket hard encounters. But still, lovely kiss is a much 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 better move than confusion or even sweet kiss for that matter. And now Charizard is slept. Yeah, slept. I watch memes. Water pulse is a three shot, and just have just stay asleep for like three turns. That would be really nice. Thank you. Bye bye. I mean, it's super easy. Executor is obviously a one shot with ice punch. And now we have Alakazam, which could prove to be a threatening concept, but we have Mega Punch. And doesn't have a serious attacking move other than Future Sight, which works after two turns. And I get a crit, GG. So now I'm just gonna do one in five cards. Gonna super easy. We all know that. Let's get the Lapras and get the heck out of here. And once I get my Lapras, yeah, I usually you know I really used to get 30 Pokemon to you know to get the item finder for the leftovers. But now I have time to get to 40 to get the amulet coin in case, just in case if I need to buy the game corner TMs. Cause we all know Shadow Ball is a very amazing move. Ice Beam is good. Thunderbolt is amazing. Flame Thrower is, eh, I guess. I haven't used seen much use for it because of my selections. I'm really not a fire type. So there's that. No Psychic Gym could pose me challenges, except for the fact that even though I have a horrible physical attack, they have horrible physical defenses. So only thing that remains here is the power of Mega Punch, which is a base AT power. That is a quite respectable move coming from a non-listed type. So yeah, I can just you know win this battle of attrition, and now I see that Ice Punch was doing better damage all along, so I just could have used that. Anyways, we have a win, and that's gym number five now in our book. So now let's take the TM for Calm Mind. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you this: I'm not a super big fan of setup moves. They usually don't you know register in my mind as something to be noticed. But this move, Calm Mind, changes the game forever. I need to use it at one point to, you know, save time. But after that one point, it's just amazing. And yeah, now I have TM for Psychic. Yeah, I I didn't get it by level up. I have to get TM for it. But once I get the TM for it, I choose it for Koga, and it's just super amazing. Just four shots and done. Give me four more shots, please. Anyways, gym number six down the road. Now it's time to face Blaine. Yeah, I have Water Pulse, and I have very good special attack. But they have very good special defenses. Like all four of them have reasonable good defenses. So that's why I need Calm Mind. You must be wondering, Osha, why have you forgotten your only super type move for this gym? For type that you are not good against. The thing here is that okay. So now it's a time for maths. Let me tell you this as I fail this attempt. So, water ball 60 base power. If I hit it super effectively, that's 120, right? 60 to 2 is 120, and psychic has a base power of 90, and it's neutral. And but I get a stab on it, so 90 into 1.5 is 135, and obviously 135 is you know a larger quantity than 120. So water pulse has served its usefulness at this point, even for super effective moves. So now I have to teach it. I don't need it, so I can now teach calm mind over water pulse. And why calm mind? Because in this gen, fire moves are solely special. And when I use calm mind, I can increase my special defense and my special attack. The spread up will help me to face those fire, fly of fire, fire, yeah, fire type moves. The special attack increase. Will help me defeat them or rather kill them in just a easier time. So now will this plan work? Okay, as you can see that damage peanuts, but I have just you know played on the critical hit and the crits have killed me. Even this growlit has killed me when it gets a critical hit. So yeah, it was a much needed strategy to use Carmine over here, cause I don't think leveling up for like two three levels would have helped me. 
so there's that but after two calm minds everything just a super easy one shot and i just move on with this badge at very reasonable time so now let us see akai zakai one shot yes it is and bye bye thank you so i got any volcano badge leya if calm mind is this good what would be bulk up like yeah, i have used calm mind sometimes for the pokemon that i naturally but haven't used bulk up like ever yeah i'm not a fan of bulk up even though it's just the same as calm mind in a physical sense just felt it lacking as compared to boobs you know like dragon dance or swords dance so there's that so i guess i should try pokemon for the next run which use bulk up as a you know boosting move and let us see if it can race through the game as good as g as uh, as good as jinx over here yeah and why am i talking so much over this fight cause this fight is a non issue cause i have high type which is over leveled than it and i have a second moves for the needos so no issues yeah just easily bam bam thank you ma'am rather thank you sam in this case and with this i have got the eight gym badges so it is a very good timing i guess i am around 6 hours at this point so if i can finish under 1 and 1/2 hours then this pokemon could officially be my fastest pokemon run ever it's already in the contention for second fastest cause at the current moment second fastest is nido king at 8 hours and 12 minutes so it has that half an hour to be the second So it's obviously a very good contender for second, maybe even the first. Let us see if we get the first or not. So Pidgeot is the one shot with Ice Punch. Yeah, Ice Punch, not Ice Beam. Head Learning Parish Song. I don't think it has a place in a solo run. So Lovely Kiss. Yeah, I could have easily killed it, but I thought that let's use opportunity to set up my calm minds. Cause since it's a free one shot anyway and doesn't have any stupid moves like Sand Attack like the Pidgeotto. It's a very good place to set up two calm minds. So with two calm minds, I basically doubled my speed up, and its nature is careful nature that is plus special defense and minus special attack. So there's that. But anyways, I don't even need it because the power was enough to easily one shot everything. I guess the Gyarados is psychic. Yeah, one shot of this like is an easy sweep, you know, an easy sweep. And Alakazam, yeah, it could have used you know physical moves for the same, but Calm Mind is super powerful. And now I think of it, if I just used Calm Mind instead of you know Mega Punch or Secret Power in the case of Mr. Mime's video, then could have gotten a time way lesser than 10 hours, or even just read the cards right and trained for that rival or trained for that fight that caused me you know so much delay, especially the Agatha one. But even though Shadow was a very good you good move to use. before agatha so yeah i had you know i didn't plan my fights better at that point i got better at planning when i got to use masquerade because masquerade needed a lot of planning because it had a amazing move pool a very good type coverage but horrible stats and a horrible typing as well so now this dugong is a perfect scene to set up my calm minds after that just a moment of pressing psychics or ice punch in the case of like exists and you know I recently watched a video of Emperor Cubone where he discussed you know that top 6 and the worst 6 Pokemon typings and Jinx typing I think was one of them and it even realized at that point that this Pokemon has only two lists ice and psychic that means in a Jinx Jinx mirror even using <laughs> double slap is much better than using your stab moves and that's the only place where it is a good defensive pokemon versus itself and yeah as you can see this jinx is not a one hit ko even after two calm mind but it could easily kill me with double slaps that would have been a horrible way to die let me tell you that so level 59 i'm done with this fight so i guess the calm mind will easily carry me through the fights but i shouldn't jinx myself at this point the video is still you know 12 12 to 15 minutes left so there's that okay bruno i'm not even counting it you know i guess close my eyes and say ice punch psychic 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 ice punch and we'll be done with it cause there's nothing more or less than that like what are move i use they have just horrible speed ups and i have super fit coverage for both or for all the rocks and well as the fighting types so i should have used one calm mind 
in just in this case cause if the cross chop had crit i would have been dead here or if i'd gotten a chip damage from hitmon lee's hitmon chan's mark punch i would have been dead here so i should not be over confident anyways it is defeated a lesson learned maybe i could use it in the future so let's see what this agatha have in store for us she has ghost mons could be a challenge but she has all poison types as well so i don't think it would be a problem like yeah i didn't even you know really heal my pp for the bruno fight i didn't even need to you know heal all of it i used some pp ups so there is that and as you might have be seeing i am not even carrying a ice beam i didn't even go to purchase it cause i didn't even need it yeah i didn't even need ice beam for these fights just ice punch was enough cause i figured out eh i can just you know boost my damage with calm mind so there is that so i don't even need anything and the sounder is out so now i can move on to lance so lance obviously is a dragon master he has only dragon types and i don't even think that he would be a issue it okay so i am at 6 hours and 26 minutes so this looking like i could win this run super easily this is a contender for the fastest run of my series cuz lance is not going to be a problem right okay so what do we have here come and just for insurance cuz that my champ taught me that dragon rage <laughs> whatever second calm mind no one can defeat hyper beam shit and this is a solid calc that one dragon rage plus one hyper beam will easily kill me at this level so i have to just pray that i get a hyper beam miss or i get a crit which is a together chance of 16 percent that is roughly in one by six games so that's not that bad so from this i can easily win right no shit cause this effing aerodactyl outspeeds me so now let us see what is its base speed let's go to trusty friends the smog on damage calculator let us see what is having store for me and by the way if after koga you have you can feel that the video quality has dropped a bit the thing is that i record this episode in two segments on day like it was only day one only but I took a lunch break between them the first my only video that has been recorded in one day so that's why i was really hopeful about being fast the thing here is that it was record that the second part got a uh, you know a uh, recording issue so please forget me for the a little bit bad video video quality so basically the thing here is it has 173 speed that erectile has 173 speeds and with the multiplier of bad boost of 1.1 if i can get a speed of 159 on screen it actually would be 174 or 175 and that would be enough to outspeed so use my rare kind of collected all through the game yeah you can easily collect say 7 to 10 candies using your meowth and the in-game rare candies so as i level 63 I could get my base of speed of 160 which is sufficient enough to outspeed the ductil and as a side bonus now I become much stronger as well as much bulkier so that I can actually survive a hyper beam if I need to but more specifically I can now easily two shot the Gyarados with just a single calm mind rather one shot even okay it's not a crit yeah it's a crit so yeah as you can see I can now easily two shot it or one shot it I don't even know with psychic so there's that now i have speed or ice punch and it's quite frail so there's that now once again just close your eyes and say ice punch one the connect is out close night close your eyes again and let me say ice punch two and dragon air is out now once you close your eyes once again and let's say ice punch three dragon air part two is out and g g so can i really do this can i really get the outspeed run the first turn that could defeat even the poke gods so now let us see if it's true or not so here we have pidgeot lovely kiss to set up my calm minds yeah it's a risky place because of sand attacks but who cares man i could just easily one shot it ariel is that did a shit ton of damage need to kill it fast so i punch one that's good right Okay, after that we have the ride on. I can easily one shot it, so just let's just sleep it. Okay, ice punch, yeah. I guess one calm mind should be enough for Charizard, right? Right? Okay, I have the Gyarados still to count for. 
they keep my charger in the back you know for extra damage it's not a one shot and thrash kills me so maybe if did get that crit i could easily get a chance right that crit was a thing that mattered for the aerial ace and i should set up at least 2 to 3 calm minds so i guess i should set up on pigeot instead maybe a sand attack is a risk but you know as i'm quite physically frail it always the prioritize attacking me so two calm minds is i guess more than enough for the job let's get three cause i'm greedy that cause i'm greedy at that time aerial ace as you see no sand attacks and no crits luckily yeah i punch and obviously a one shot i am not concerned about this or even the ride on for that matter i have three calm minds right so i guess that's more than enough ride on is a one shot no question that super effective now what about garados let us see that yeah ice beam could have helped me a little with the damage rolls but as i said who cares who cares about ice beam okay garados is super amazing it survived even after such and i use opportunity to use a third calm mind cause why not <laughs> and now now at two and a half times my special attack and nothing can survive this like i don't even now worrying about charizard at this point what is charizard who cares about a charizard i can survive a fire blast like it's tackle from a catrope no one worries about it an easily one shot a lakazam a kill with ice punch not even ice beam who worries about you so Calm mind. Just change the complexion of this run completely. Like yeah, there could have been so many stop points. Heck, even Blaine would have taken me like at least training of seven levels to you know easily defeat the water pulse. But calm mind just took that and changed it drastically. So now I am really trying to understand about setup moves. Like taunt in the last round of Crow Dawn, it was super amazing. Calm mind was amazing here. Like I really want to try something with bulk up, or get a team for bulk up. So please let me Pokemon for the next run. And as you can see, let's take the time for it. The time for this run is actually six hours and thirty-five minutes. It is my fastest run to this date. I am just mind blown. That was super amazing. Like that was super duper amazing. Not gonna lie. So let's just see the tier list and let us see how does it fare on it. Like obviously it's on the first, but I could have to change that. So oh, basically, Jinx is on the first of the tier list. It has reached the Poke God status for me. So now I am thinking about two things: the trade evos, not the trade evos, the trade trade poke trade gift Pokemon, and a bulk up user. So maybe I could just use a setup plan to build any two or other a combination of both of them. So let us see what I have for you guys in the next week. Till then, bye bye everyone. See ya.